This is Khalid Payanda. Just a few months back, he was heading the finance ministry in Afghanistan, presenting a $6 billion budget. But today, he's busy driving an Uber. Yes, you heard that right. 40-year-old Khalid Payanda, the former finance minister of Afghanistan, is an Uber driver in Washington, D.C. now, where he earns a little over $150 for six hours of work. It means just a little over 11,000 Indian rupees and 13,000 Afghan Afghanis. In an interview to the Washington Post, Khalid said he took up the job to support his wife and four children who fled Afghanistan before it fell to the Taliban on August 15th last year. But Khalid Payanda had stayed back hoping the situation would improve in his country. Finally, a week before the Taliban took control of Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan, he resigned as the finance minister. His relationship with his boss and president of Afghanistan, Ashraf Ghani, had strained beyond repair. Just a week before he resigned, Ashraf Ghani had lashed out at him in a public meeting and then privately scolded him over the finance ministry's failure to make a relatively small payment to a Lebanese company. Khalid recalls how the president was angry and all over the place. The tension arising out of Americans' departure and the Taliban's advances had brought out the worst in him, who was tireless and also micromanaging, mistrustful and short-tempered. This is as per his colleagues. Khalid didn't think the government was about to fall, but he felt he had lost the president's trust. A part of him even worried that Ashraf Ghani might have him arrested on false charges. So he quickly boarded a plane to the United States where his wife and children, who had left a week earlier, were waiting for him. On August 15th, the day the government collapsed in Afghanistan, Khalid woke up around 2 p.m. in the U.S. still jet-lagged and exhausted from watching all the news until dawn and saw a text message from the World Bank's country director in Kabul. What a sad day, it read. Rewind back a little, on August 10th, just five days before the Taliban takeover, Khalid had tweeted this and left Afghanistan due to the fear of being arrested by the government. He was fortunate to be reunited with his family in America, unlike many who were stranded, killed or left to fend for themselves in Afghanistan. But how has life been for Khalid since the last nine months, driving people around in an Uber and living like just another expat hustling in the US? It's quite an adjustment, he says. But he's also grateful to be able to support his family in any way that he can. In his interview, he also blames the United States for Afghanistan's current situation as the withdrawal of troops had allowed the Taliban to take over. In a text message to the World Bank official in Kabul, the day it fell to Taliban, he wrote, We had 20 years and the whole world support to build a system that would work for the people. All we built was a house of cards that came crashing down this fast. A house of cards built on the foundation of corruption. Now, US President Joe Biden has said Afghanistan's political leaders gave up and fled the country as desperate Afghans rushed to the airport the day after Kabul fell. He also added, we gave them every tool that they could need. We gave them every chance to determine their own future. What we could not provide them was the will to fight for that future. Khalid, of course, also blames his fellow Afghans. We didn't have the collective will to reform to be serious, he says. And then he blamed the Americans for handing over the country to the Taliban and betraying them, but he also blamed himself. But now as Khalid drives past iconic buildings like World Bank and the International Monetary Fund headquarters with his passengers in the back seat, he remembers how he had once attended training sessions and meetings in these very buildings with fellow economists on his country's future. But this is not the first time that Khalid had left Afghanistan for the US. In November 2020, he had returned to Kabul to work on a short-term project for Ashraf Ghani when his parents fell ill to COVID-19. Khalid cut short his work and spent 13 days with them in an intensive care unit. The worst 13 days of my life, he says, adding that the hospital, one of the best in Kabul, couldn't afford a $200 machine to help his mother breathe. She died with Khalid at her bedside. A few weeks later, Ashraf Ghani offered him the job as the country's finance minister. Khalid's wife and former colleagues urged him to reject this offer. The Taliban were gaining ground, the Americans were leaving, corruption was siphoning off huge sums of government revenue in Afghanistan and the threat of assassination was real. But the conditions at the hospital and his mother's suffering at that time convinced Khalid that he had to take up the job. As long as he believed there was still a slim possibility of success, he had to try, he says. Now, he tells his wife that he wished 
he had never ever accepted the position i saw a lot of ugliness and we failed i was part of the failure he said it's difficult when you look at the misery of the people and you feel responsible and it's only natural for us to regret the decisions taken in the past or worry about the future but it's all a colossal waste of time and i understood this very clearly when i was listening to this powerful audiobook on kuku fm india's leading audiobook platform with 1000 plus hours of content in preferred languages with a 4.5 plus rating this audiobook is called the power of now a guide to spiritual enlightenment by ekart tol which explains very clearly that our present is all that matters to help our youtube family unlock knowledge across a range of topics kuku fm is offering an exclusive 50% discount for the first to 50 users all you have to do is use the promo code rk50 and get started on a journey of knowledge information and entertainment with kuku fm i have left the link to download the kuku fm app in the description remember this massive 50% discount is only for the first to 50 users so this means that the yearly subscription of 399 will be available only for 199 for these first 250 users now coming back to khalid's present while driving his uber in the us he often thinks of his 75 year old father who had been too frail to fight through the crowds rushing to the kabul airport and risking their lives to escape in august last year he knew that he could have easily helped his father secure a turkish visa before the country fell to the taliban but he did not expect the collapse to come so quickly His father is apparently still in Afghanistan. He thinks about his former colleagues too who had been wounded in the August airport bombing. He wished he had done more to help them as well. At the same time, he couldn't understand how US military officials and diplomats could so easily abandon the high-minded principles for which they said they had been fighting all these years. As he drove through the streets of Washington past the buildings where so many of the decisions about Afghanistan's future had been made, it seemed to him as if the Americans' assurances about democracy and human rights were never more than a pretense. Maybe there were good intentions initially, but the United States probably didn't mean this, he said. Today, Khalid is one of the many millions who live and work for a livelihood in that very same country. His days are filled with ferrying passengers from all over the world who board the back of his Honda Accord and who have little idea that the man driving them to their destination was once driving a country's economy. But that was another day, another time. What are your thoughts about this story? Please let us know in the comments. Connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook it's at the rate review on and I'm available on Twitter as at the rate on Kuteja. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have already subscribed to this channel. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.